Imagine you've just been assigned to a group project. You are tasked with optimizing a machine called Society. There are four others working on the group project with you. The machine isn't perfect by any means, and everyone in the room seems to have a different idea of how to best deal with this project. Here's the problem, says Peter the Progressive. The machine is alright as a whole, but this one part definitely needs reworking. Once that's fixed, we can reassess the operation and find out what other small tweaks we could make. Whoa, 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 let's slow down, says Karen, the conservative. We've got a pretty good thing going right now, and it might be risky to make changes. What if we make it worse? It's definitely best to protect what we have and not make any changes. Even if it's not perfect, it's probably the best we can do. You can change all you want, says Raven, the revolutionary, and it will be the same old machine. Our understanding of this operation has progressed so much, yet we are still making small tweaks to a system that is hopelessly outdated. What we need is an entirely new machine, based on our centuries of operational knowledge. Scrap this one entirely, and build something more efficient that works better for absolutely everyone involved. You're all preposterous, says Ronald, the reactionary. I want to go a step further than Karen. I've seen all these changes you've been making over the years, and they've been disastrous. I remember the good old days when this machine was much more efficient, and it's been ruined by all these incremental changes that Peter has been making. What we need to do is roll back all these updates and bring back the old operating system that we used to have. Who do you find yourself agreeing with? One political spectrum asks the question, how do you feel about change? Is slow, measured change the best? Or should you prioritize protecting what you have over making changes? Is a drastic change needed right now, and if so, in which direction? Should we bring about more foundational structural changes to make our society safer and healthier for more people? Or should we roll back the changes we've already made to bring back the ordered prosperity of the past? A few notes on this spectrum. First, your response to change can be different from issue to issue. Second, your response to change doesn't necessarily conform to the traditional divisions between left and right. You might be a conservative because you believe your society does a good job of promoting the leftist values of liberty, equality, and camaraderie. However, in practical terms, the history of political ideologies in Western civilizations have mostly seen revolutionaries and progressives on the left, and reactionaries and conservatives on the right. The term reactionary comes from revolutions which have successfully enacted a fundamental change to society. Reactionaries want to immediately fight back against revolutionary changes. Bring back the king, bring back the slave masters, bring back the occupying empire. We can probably find archetypal examples of this spectrum in our society today, but that doesn't mean that it would look different in another time or place. Third, you may have seen this spectrum with the term radical on the far left. I think this is a bit misleading, as the term radical refers to a specific ideological framework, whereas revolutionary refers to a movement of sudden, intense, foundational changes to society. Fourth, this is a spectrum, not a list of four distinct points. You may find yourself anywhere on this spectrum, and not find any one of these four archetypes to be particularly definitive for your ideology.